Guys, in this video you just saw where I put on the headlight bezels uh, to cover around the headlights. I didn't actually have the park lights in yet. Uh, same thing on the other side. I wound up taking those off, guys. They were made out of plastic, real cheap quality. Uh, I wasn't real happy with them. Um, I had to take them off anyway in order to install the park lights. Uh, I haven't actually got those in yet, but I wanted to put them up there, guys, see what it looked like. And uh, it looked really good from a distance, but up close, the, uh, the sides, they didn't line up with the chrome trim on the top or the bottom. Um, around the sides here where it's supposed to mate with the fender, there's like a quarter inch gap in there. Just real poor quality stuff, guys. They were made in China. The packaging and labeling and stuff uh, that they were wrapped in when I got them, uh, they're China made. They're chrome plastic. They look good. They just didn't fit good. Uh, I got those from LMC Truck. I uh, wound up sending those back. They're going to uh, refund my money and uh, I'm gonna go with something different. AMD, um, I can't remember if that's what that, what that stands for, uh, but they have, they have some really good quality stuff from what I could tell online. Uh, it is sheet metal pressed. Uh, they do the chroming and things like that. So I'm gonna check with them. I haven't actually made the call yet, but uh, to let you guys know, if you're ordering parts, make a phone call before you order them, spend the time, spend the money, uh, make sure that they are good quality, make sure that you know what you're getting before they actually get in your hands. Um, the, the ones that I ordered from LMC, uh, they didn't list them as being plastic. Uh, I had assumed that those were metal, uh, reproduction or something like that. They were not, they were plastic. Uh, even just installing them, they just felt like they were just, they could just crack and break at any time. Uh, real poor quality stuff, guys. Uh, I've got a lot of other parts on my truck from LMC, uh, Classic Truck Parts of America, Classic Industries, uh, USA One Products, I think is the, the website for that one. Uh, a lot of a lot of different parts on this truck from different companies. The reason why is because I shop for good price, but I also shop for quality. Uh, I don't mind spending a little extra money uh, to get you know a good quality product. But guys, when you're building something like this, you're going to spend a lot of money. Uh, you just got to know where to spend it and what to spend it on. Uh, being that that headlight bezel is a finished product. Uh, it will affect the, the overall look of everything when it's done. I, I wasn't happy with it. I went ahead and sent it back. So uh, when I get some more, uh, I'll probably add a little video, may do something showing you know where I got them from, uh, something like that. That way you guys know uh, if you're looking for headlight bezels or parts like that, you'll know where to go. Um, I've actually got my factory headlight bezels uh, they need to be re-chromed, they're not pitted, they're not beat up real bad, but they're not up to par really for what I'm building. So uh, I had actually thought about sending those off as well and uh, having those re-chromed. Um, I've got some more parts from the interior that I'd like to see about having chromed also. So I haven't decided exactly which route I'm gonna take with that yet, guys, but I did wanna fill you in on why I don't actually have the bezels yet, uh, or bezels on here now why I wound up taking those back off. Um, uh, waiting on the park lights to come in, and uh, I, I guess I'll have to figure out something here pretty quick so I can proceed with that, but this isn't real important right now. Uh, trying to get some things done with the motor and transmission, uh, transmission cooler lines, things like that. Go ahead and try to get uh, some of the wiring finished up so I can fire this motor up. Uh, I'm hoping to do that in the next couple of weeks. It's getting pushed further and further down the road. Uh, something comes up, something hinders me from working on uh, my project, but hopefully I can get all those little bugs worked out, get all the kinks worked out, and uh, try to get this thing fired up here in the next couple of weeks. That's gonna be a really big uh, to-do. Um, I'm gonna have some time off of work here in a few weeks, so it'll, it'll be a good time to really really utilize that time off to try to get a little bit further along with this project. So uh, guys, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you would, just subscribe if you like the videos you're seeing. 
Uh, if you want to see the information, uh, the videos from later on, guys, just keep following, keep watching. Uh, comment if you have any questions. I'd be more than happy to answer questions and uh, kind of let you guys know what I'm using, what I'm doing, where I'm getting my parts from, just whatever, you know, uh, questions you have about any of it. So uh, with that, guys, I'm going to cut loose. And I hope you guys have a great day, great night, great evening. And uh, keep watching, keep following, because there's a lot of good stuff coming. All right? Have a good one.